Hi, my name's Jesse from Brickwright. Brad's behind the camera. We're back on the Titanic project and we are on part two of this series of the driveway grid, which is those things there, Brad. Yeah. So there we are. So what we got set up, look, you've got to see part one of this pro well not part one of the project, part one of this series, the driveway grids. There's a part one to this. So go back, have a look at that video if you want to know about the prep work. So we're on to part two, the installation. So what we got going on, come on this way, Brad. We've got a system set up here which is we've kind of concocted this. You've got to do this on site sometimes. So this is a table we've made with a digger and a bit of this stuff we've got underneath it. So that's a table with all this set down. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these down like that. And all they do, they've got like a, a female and a male end, if you come closer. So these are the grids. They're like a 35 mil thick. We got these from Ibran. Um, never used them before but they seem really good they delivered it pretty quick to site no issues at all so there's like a female and a male end to this so that sticks out there and then you've got these little lugs on there look you can see that and they just click in wrong it's wrong just is it <laughs> how's it wrong oh, i was only showing them brad they just click in to there like that here we are that's in and we will meticulously put it all together now so these click in like brad just said these click in now the right way around so we can connect them into there but another key thing you've got to do put down your weed suppressive membrane first we bought this off the manufacturer so it's the one they recommend we we'll put that all the way down they did recommend to put sand down as well the sand was just to level your surface to take out any humps and bumps in your base but we've put this down with a dumpy level as you would have seen in stage one and um, it's all pretty flat, isn't it? Yeah. So we've done it so nice, there's no need for sand on it. Right, cue, I'm a cowboy and all the rest of it. But I tell you what, right, Brad's soaking wet and I've got my waterproof, uh, waterproof uh, cowboy hat on. And uh, look at that, Brad. Oh my God, you're going bald. Even my bald patch is dry. You're going bald just. Even the bald patch is dry, Brad. So, for you landscapers out there or builders, get yourself, obviously mine's extra large because a massive head, get one of them, make yourself look like an arse, but keep your head dry. Anyway, this is what we're doing. So, coming close Brad. So what we found, or what Brad found, was, we come right close there, all these circles, every single one of them is a circle apart from this little bit in the corner. So it just distinguishes whether you've got that in the bottom left or whether you want it up there. So what we're doing, Every single one of them goes in the bottom left. And I've had every single one of these right, Brad, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, every one. I haven't had to tell you at all, have I? No. That goes on there. And then we just... That's on. Put that to there. And we're putting them in, in four. You just find it a lot easier. And a bit quicker. Put it in four. So same thing. Both left-hand side at the bottom. Click them two together, and then that then simply fits on there. And then I take that. No, I don't take it. No, you don't take over it. Guess it off me then, don't you? Because why would I want to walk over there? Why would I do any like walking? Walk over here. Yeah. So there we are. That's it. It's Tuesday morning. We pulled in with a van. We've had Adrian down. We got the first load of the uh, chippings ready to go onto the, the driveway grid. Me and Brad put a shift in yesterday, then a hell of a load of work, and we pulled in this morning, and our client said to us, Justin, you've done it wrong. And I said, yeah, you're having, you're having us on. And we came in and we looked and thought, hmm, yeah, we have done it wrong. And we have done it wrong. So let's show you what we've done wrong. So if you come down here, look, Brad, <coughs> this is the way that it should be up that way so all the gravel can sit inside it so all the gravel now will sit in there and me and brad came in yesterday and did it like this didn't we it's all upside down so like all good bosses it's all upside down like all, all good bosses what i've done is i've passed the buck and i've blamed it all on brad mm. and then brad like all good deputies has passed the blood bl the buck and blamed it all on fraser because fraser's not one year no so whose factual fault is it? It's down there. It's down there. It's down there. It's, it's why he's hiding. So we're trying to make a joke out of it, but realistically, we're not bloody happy. 
we made ourselves look like a right bunch of arseholes. Um, I don't know what happened. I was shattered yesterday, but no excuses. So, we're, again, we're on YouTube. It's not all about the good things. We're trying to be real. And now we've got a hell of a shift to try and turn it all over and clip it and put it all back together again, haven't you, Brad? Yeah. Yeah. Right, this is how Brad's cut. And then we've got to... Go on, tell him, Brad, what you've got. Well, interlock. We've got, like, six in a row. Oh, what saw have you got? Oh, got my re reciprocator with Makita... Torch. I don't know what the other bloody thing is. Milwaukee. M Milwaukee blade. Purposely yeah, the blade. Bought. I bought the blade from Screwfix, and it's just a multi, a multi blade. So it'll cut like yeah. steel, wood, plastic, that kind of stuff. So readily available in uh, Screwfix. So yeah, show them how it works then, Brad. It's not taking long. We just go along there now, cut all them off, and then what we're doing is we're laying this tight to our like edging to this, to this stuff, laying it tight, look, so it won't move from left to right. So if we come over this side, you see we've got that down there as tight as we possibly can within reason. We just go all the way along there now. Cut that off, and then it, it, it's not going to move. So then I, I think it'll be a better job to uh, to get it in the way we're doing it. You tell us. As you probably guess, this is the first time we've ever done this. Hence the cock up this morning. But we're over that now. Yeah, that was pretty quick, Brad, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you finding that saw to cut it? Easy. Easy. There we are. Happy days. Right. Welcome to another new tireless day i am not tired today i had a good sleep last night good recoup and uh my brain is all trigged up and all ready to go today so you can see now we've cut it all in so this is the expanse it's a bloody huge drive it's a huge area we're working on um so it's all the driveway grids are in so all our hassle with us cocking it up yesterday is gone now so us all signed off so just to reiterate for anybody doing this to learn off our stupid mistakes that is the way that we laid it first of all with these little circles facing up and we should have laid it with the squares facing up so squares facing up and as you can see we got the squares facing up so we've cut it all in just give you a little grand tour cut all this that's close in to the side there i won't show you it all but it, it is all in. We've got a little bit of weed membrane to cut off down there and all this side is exactly the same i'm showing you showing it all to you now ain't i so there we are it's in it's all interlocked so by the time we get the chippings on client's already been out last night i think he got a bit excited like and he started to put some chippings in himself just to see what it's going to look like so they will all now fit in between these grids so they'll all go into there and that'll hold it all together even more and then rather than you can have it like that look you can have it like that so you can see the grids but he wants it like that so you fill the grids up and got like that like that 30 mil on top 35 mil on top to cover it all so so this is where we're at with this so we've got this stone in now and you can see now if you've watched the other videos you cannot see any path edgings so no path edgings around any of it it's all disappeared and even what we did, let's just take you around here really quickly. What we did, look, we laid path edgings down there and we've laid the grass on top of the path edging and that, I think that knits in really, really nice. No path edgings down there, even though they're there, they're below ground. No path edgings underneath there. So you get the gist of it, no path edgings. So we've done this bit, all that's been put in. Client's really pleased with it, I love it. Brad loves it, Fraser's happy. And then what we're doing now is we've worked our way from the top of the garden where I'm walking from down to the bottom garden where bottom of the garden where Fraser and Brad are down there we've done that purposely to plan it all out because we wanted to get that done and work our way from that front door back right the way to the road and it's just dragging all our rubbish and our materials and everything back out to the finished area which is out through the back gate so what we're doing now is we've got these driveway grids in they're in they're done we've stockpiled this 
mounds of decorative stone ready to go down where Fraser's digging and we're just extending what we've already done back down to here so the plan of attack is we will put path edgings in on this side on the left hand side we we'll leave them out of this side so Adrian can get in where Fraser is here but the lorry comes in at an angle like this so this is why we don't want to put path edgings here the lorry will come in and cross over where the path edgings were to get rid of all this all this mound so we got a system and then once we put the uh, the base in what Ooh. we can do then oh he's like a bloody big ox isn't he what we can do then is once the path edgings are in on this side we can get Adrian in to move all that once we've got Adrian in again to put some new base and whack it in here which will take the weight of his lorry and then we've got to grass this grass this section over here and we've made it nice and neat and tidy there's a grass section all up and around here where you can see the top soil which has got to be replenished with grass then we can move all our rubbish so there we are it's getting there as I keep saying it's, it is actually getting there now and the boys put this grass in yesterday while we wanted one here and it's really really starting to look a uh, million dollars I'm really happy with it so it's good yeah, Brad's just getting the last of the path edging in now Brad you got your builders bottom hanging out again We'll have to get something for him to sort that out for you, won't we? Give me some new uniform. What well, you don't realise, people you're watching this on YouTube, is we got to bloody watch that and look at that all day long, Fraser, haven't we? That's why I'm losing all the weight I am, Brad. You're putting me off my bloody tea. You haven't been on a lucky day, Tucked himself in now, look. I'll get you a little present to sort that out for yourself, Brad, OK? Go on, then. There we are. Stay tuned. We will be giving Brad a little present to try and help him sort that out so me and Fraser don't have to look at it so we can at least go home in the evening and eat our bloody tea right we said that we were going to buy Brad a present to stop his very large builder's bottom interfering with our day and ruining our tea of an evening Fray didn't we I'm going to have a guess of what I think it is as well what do you think it is I reckon it's an adult nappy or something he reckons it's an adult nappy so here we go then, Bradley. Present, oh. specially wrapped for you. What is that? This In present. Weed membrane. And I hope you uh, find some use out of it to help me and Fraser. Oh. You got to, whatever they are, whatever it is, you got to get out and show it to the camera, okay? So everybody can share. In your, uh, in your little present. Oh, you've probably left it on the floor now, Brad. It's for him to pick That up. means he's got to bend down and show his builder's bum to us, doesn't it? Fuck, what is this? What the hell are they? <laughs> what are they? Well, they, right, they are a giant size, giant pair of boxer shorts, which I bought, which what were... What size are they? I think they were... Five. 5XL. Do you know what, right? I'm going to take these home and I've got a. <laughs> You've got a funny feeling you're going to need a bigger bloody size. I've got a family member who would enjoy these and I reckon they'd be too small for him. <laughs> well, if you think about it now, right? If you put them on, well, hopefully they'll come up to about by there and we won't have to look at his bloody builder's ass all day. Hey, I'll be wearing that as a t shirt and a short at the same time. I tell you what, jump in the back of the van, chuck them on, and we'll have a look, is it? No. To see if they work. No, you can put them on, eh? What do you think? I reckon they're massive. <laughs> Are you going to bloody wear them? That's the thing. No. Me and Fraser, me and Fraser, that's, in fact, there we are, that's better <laughs> all round, isn't it? Uh, right, you've got to have a bit of fun on site, so I think the joke's on me next now, isn't it? What the hell are they? You're going to guess something for me now to, uh, to wind me up with, so. I wish there's a blanket tonight, I think. There you go, everyone. There's another arse hanging out. Right, so just quickly, to show you exactly how they fit. So we're doing it in four, as you know, because you've seen that in the rest of the, uh, the other part of the video. So Brad's bashing them in now. Where did you learn to bash like that, Brad? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we do want to know. No, you don't. Right, there we are. So that's the four. And then uh, Fraser takes it down to there now.
you get a close up on this, I'm sure I'm afraid. And then they just slot in. So once they get on there now, tappy tappy with the old foot. See, you're a lot, you're a lot better doing that than what he is. He looks a bit uh, like some kind of ex-murderer or something doing that, doesn't he? Now, what do you think? Yeah. Does, doesn't he? Right, so that's connected into there. Get your weed membrane down. And we've done now. We're right coming. There's the van lock. We're coming right down to the rumble strip now. So you've just got a little section to do. So let me just show you exactly where we are with it. So we had to put the turf in. If anyone says, oh, there's a different colour there, I'm not happy with that. It's a different colour because you couldn't do it all in one go. So this has gone in today and yesterday. And this section over here has gone in today and yesterday. We've now got it all up and around. So we just put this in down to there and then we've got to get the uh, the stone in, which we'll show you uh, probably now on the uh, on the next video. Right, so that's the end of this video. The driveway grids are in. You've seen how they, how they go in. So please leave your comments below. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.